Hey everybody, welcome back to Coda Responsive Website with Bootstrap 3. This video is called Styling the Thumbnails. In this video, we are going to add a little bit of CSS to the HTML that we just added in the previous lecture, which was for the thumbnails, these big uh, featurettes, as I like to call them. And we're gonna add a little CSS to make these price tags show up in the top right corner and be a little bit bigger. Plus we're gonna play a little bit with media queries. So if you go to your CSS and scroll down to global styles, under global styles, we're going to select the thumbnails. And we're gonna give it a little bit of margin on the top and bottom. So margin 20 pixels, zero. So 20 pixels on top and bottom and nothing on the right and left. Okay. And then let's add another style. We're gonna select thumbnail, just each specific thumbnail. We're gonna give it the position of relative because we're going to need to have the price tags be positioned absolute. And in order for them to stay within the parent, the thumbnail, the parent itself needs to be positioned. And we're gonna position it relative. So thumbnail H3. So the H3 within the thumbnail, let's give it the font size of 16 pixels to make it a little bit smaller than what it currently is. Margin 0, 0, 10, and line height 20 pixels. So that's gonna change the style of the uh, little cap, the title in here, a little bit smaller, there it is. Let's add another style, thumbnail, and we're gonna select the price. So the class of price, font size 22 pixels. Position, absolute. Top, negative 10 pixels. Right, negative 10 pixels. And padding, 10 pixels. Save that. Let's see what that does. Almost perfect. So we made the font size bigger. We have some padding in the, the price tag in here. We positioned it absolute. And then we positioned it negative 10 on the top and negative 10 on the right. So brought it out 10 pixels up here and 10 pixels this way. Same thing over here. And now we're just gonna do uh, one more quick thing here. Thumbnail, select price, and the superscript tag. And then font weight normal, font size 12 pixels. Save that and let's see what that looks like. Perfect, so it's a little bit lighter and there it, it, uh, it just looks a little bit better in here. And I don't like how close the text is to the, the little tag here, this little, this icon. So let's fix that in CSS. Let's select thumbnail and span with the class of glyph icon. Margin right, 10 pixels. Save that. That looks a little too far to me. So let's make it five pixels. See what that looks like. Much better, that looks good to me. All right, so let's move down to the media queries. I'm just gonna show you why. If I shrink this to the phone, these tags are much too big. It kind of covers up too much of the image. So we're gonna change that. So scroll down to your media queries and in the max width 480 pixels, we're going to select thumbnail and price, and then font size 14 pixels, and then thumbnail, price, sup. Font size 10 pixels, save that. So max width 40, 480 pixels, it's gonna change the font size. There we go, perfect. So now if I make this bigger, you'll see that it'll grow when it's bigger than 480, and it'll shrink. There we go. So that is it for this lecture. And in the next lecture, we're gonna be almost done. We're almost wrapping things up. We're gonna code the footer, then we're gonna style it, and then we're basically done. So I'll see you there, my friends.